Hey guys and gals, Never here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you know on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings, Anna's Path. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alright, <clears throat> investigation. What was that? By the way, which one do you think was the lethal one? Uh, the one on his neck. I think it was the one on his neck. That's right. If all the blood from it wasn't a giveaway, this is a stab wound. Characterized by a rather small footprint. You can tell it's also the deepest one. And from the location, it's pretty obvious this must have done tremendous damage. What else do you see? Oh, the blood. The bl well, there's a lot of blood. The blood spider suggests that. He, he was a hemophiliac. He had AIDS? He died here. This isn't blood. He was dragged here and after he died, he committed suicide. Uh, let's say he died here? I mean, yeah. He died here, else there would have been a trail we could follow. The splatters also suggest this is where they fought. That's true. Unfortunately, it doesn't help with determining who the perpetrator is. Objection! Excuse me? I'm sorry, I was just always wanted to say that. Go on, please. What about the blood on his muzzle? You tell me. The blood on his muzzle suggests that he is a vampire. He fought back. He had a bloody steak earlier. He has a gum disease. He bit his tongue during the fight. He fought back. Uh, let me, uh... I, I want to do these stupid-ass options. Because they're silly. He's a vampire. Wait! No! I have to go back. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Blood appears to suggest that. Okay. We're gonna save it right here. Right here. Okay. He was a hemophiliac. There's so much blood. Could he have been a hemophiliac? Yes. There's a lot of blood, I'll give you that. But I don't think this has anything to do with hemophilia. He had a... <laughs> That's so mean! Why? And what? No! Keegan, you're such an asshole! Hey, this isn't blood. You sure? <laughs> Marinara. Nope. It's blood, all right. <laughs> Just the Keegan the dumbass, oh my god. All right, uh, he was dragged here after he died. Well, there's no blood anywhere else in the vicinity that would suggest that, unless the perpetrator had the time to clean up some of it. All right, so I'm gonna do this last one. Oh, no! God damn it, no. No. Bad option. Committed suicide. Really? You mean a flyer with barely usable hands stabbed himself with a knife multiple times until he died from blood loss? That just doesn't seem plausible. Actually, the only reason I can think of why someone would do that is if he deliberately wanted to make it look like it wasn't a suicide. Even then, Hezik's procedure of logic tells us that until further evidence surfaces, the theory with the least amount of assumptions is the most likely. This one isn't it. Wow, that was, of course, that's the most detailed answer. Let's see. He died here. That's true. Alright, what is the other one? Alright, go on, please. Yep, he's got, he's got marinara on his muzzle. I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> Tell me. He's a vampire. Don't be silly. Damn it. Um. That right there. Alright. Uh, he had a bloody steak earlier. And have the blood from it still stuck to his teeth who knows how long after? I don't think so. Uh, he has a gum disease. Possible, but unlikely. He bit his tongue during the fight. That is actually a very real possibility. We probably would be seeing more blood if that were the case, though. Okay. He fought back. It might be the perpetrator's blood. Yes, that is true. I expect forensics already took a sample of it, so it might actually help us determine who the perpetrator is. One second, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, have a little water break. Hmm. I think that's about everything. Investigation over. You know what, kid? I'm impressed. Maybe we should have you around more often. Hey, Chief. Do you still need the witness here for anything? Sebastian approached with the dragon who had discovered the body earlier. I recognized her as Aideen, the waitress from the cafe. She seemed distraught, which given the situation wasn't very surprising. I don't think so. Take her to the department. Get her statement written up and uh, that should be it. A sure thing. Alright, miss. We're gonna have to take you to the department. Of course. 
When she spotted me, however, her composure brightened visibly. Oh, it's the human! Well, I'm a human. Well, I call you by your name, but you never actually told me. It's Keegan. What are you even doing here? Do you work for our police now? Looks like it. Maybe I should be calling you officer then. I don't think I'm quite there yet. By the way, I didn't know you also did deliveries. I do a little bit of everything, really. That's nice. I love my scrambled eggs yesterday. I love my scrambled eggs yesterday. If you like it so much, why don't you take our number? We could deliver something to you next time if you don't want to come in. Thanks. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, I guess we should get going. Bye! What do we do now? I suppose we'll head off too, unless... Oh no. What is it? We got a violent homicide, and of course nobody from the department tells me. I had to find out from a neighbor who wanted to ask me about it. Good thing rumors travel fast, eh? Of course nobody told you. You're on sick leave. Mandatory sick leave, I might add. I'm not here in any official capacity, you see. I'm merely enjoying a curative walk in the fresh air and happen to come across you by accident. What do you want? I don't want anything. I just find it interesting that no one tells me about this, but the prime suspect's buddy can mess with the investigation. I see how it is. I know what you're thinking, but I'll jump to conclusions here. I don't need to jump to conclusions. I think the dead body we found says it all. You really have an attitude problem. You know, if you weren't on sick leave, you'd be suspended right now for attacking Keegan yesterday. Do you have any, any idea what kind of repercussions this could have on all, all of us? Me attack Keegan? As far as I can see, I'm the only one who's injured here. Besides, I'm so sorry for apparently being the only one who's doing his damn job. Right. Just all sit idly by while the suspect's on the loose and planning his next move. You know, whatever it was Reza was talking about, he was going to tell me just before you showed up yesterday. I don't need you to- I don't need to hear you, of all people, belittling me about this. What's your problem? If anything, I want him to find him just as much as you do. Don't compare yourself to me. Your words mean nothing. Enough. You shouldn't even be here, so you better go now and go get some rest before I have to take some disciplinary action. Fine. But when we find him, you'll see I was right. If I have to prove it myself, so be it. Can he even just do his own investigation like that? Well, as long as he doesn't interfere with us, we can't really stop him from doing things in his own free time. I see. I suspect he won't adhere to the standards of performing an unbiased investigation, though. He's already made up his mind. It's clear to me he won't be looking for facts, just for evidence to support his own view in order to prove it to us, and f prove it to us or himself. Who knows? He's always been like that. Always something to prove. We'll have to be careful. He'll be looking for Reza soon enough. Uh... Mm. Yeah. Don't worry, Reza will turn up eventually. I surely hope so. All things considered, I had to admit that it remained a possibility that Maverick was right, but could Reza, could the Reza I knew really be a murderer? You know what? If you think of something that might help with the investigation, or if you need anything else, just call me. I will. Well, I think we're done here. Let's go. Price me back to the apartment. Guess there wasn't really much for me to do in the meantime, as I was spared the more arduous parts of the investigation. Maybe I should have been glad about this, though now I had an afternoon to fill. What should I do? Meet with Anna. Anna, 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 Anna. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Let me pause it right there. Y'all need to drink some water. I am a thirsty derg. Oh yeah, y'all. I've got an interview today. I mean, yeah, I've got an interview the day this video goes up, so wish me luck, y'all, even though the interview will be, like, way past by, like, the time. But still, luck always helps. Anyway, she told me to meet her here, so she's got to be around there. She's got to be around somewhere. The production facility had many different wings, covering everything from research to processing in addition to production. It was easy to get lost if you didn't know where you were going. I heard some commotion in the distance, and when I approached, I was surprised to see not only Anna, but Remy as well. They seemed to be in the middle of a heated conversation. I thought it would be inappropriate to approach now, so I remained several paces back, out of their field of vision. I'm still close enough to be able to make out their words. We we have heard the rumors. So you come to me on the basis of rumors. Is that how you operate? What do you want from me? This is not the first time you've been in trouble, you know. They might not be so lenient with you this time. I don't know what you're talking about. Consider this a warning. You should proceed carefully for your own good. If you wanted to threaten me, the least you could do, the least you could have done was to send someone more intimidating. You may be larger than I am, but even I can see that you're just a big coward. You would dare put your dirty claws on me. I wouldn't. I'm here as a courtesy to you, not to threaten or intimidate. Do with that information whatever you wish. You know we'll be back, and if they find anything there, and if, if they find anything, there will be consequences. Do you think I care? This attitude of yours is not helpful. 
Neither are you. <laughs> well, I've said what I came here to say. Good luck. Whatever. Remy turned to leave and started walking in my direction. I ducked behind a pillar, and, and when he went past, I wasn't sure if he'd seen me. Either way, he left, and I was safe to approach now. My records indicate you have already experienced this scene in a satisfactory manner. Would you like to skip to the end? No. As you wish. What was that all about? Hey, Anna. Hey, Keegan. Wait, how long have you been here? <laughs> Not that it matters much anyway. This is just par for the course for me. I know Remy. What's the problem? The nerve of that guy. He probably wouldn't be so uptight if it wasn't for that thing with his girlfriend a few years ago. Yeah. But I don't care about him. It's his superiors that are the problem. They don't like me and the research I'm doing. They cite their traditions and values, claiming that those are, that those are what have kept us alive for so long. If anything were to change, it would obviously fracture the base the society is built on, cause it all to collapse, tear apart families, and allow all hell to break loose. At least if you believe these old-timers who keep repeating these phrases. And all that nonsense because of my research. Valuable research that could save lives, mind you. What kind of research are we talking about? I could show you sometime, but we're here to have fun, right? I thought you wanted to show me, since you said we were both in biology and all that. Sure, but after doing this all day, you'll have to excuse me for not wanting to talk about it even more. Wasting my time with that guy was just another setback. I I don't already have more than enough to work to do. Even right now, I'm supposed to be working overtime. You know, some other time then, huh? I will. Oh, and thanks for the blood, by the way. The results aren't in yet, but I'll let you know when they are. Good. I'm just as curious about the results as you are. No, you aren't. I am. I'm way curiouser than you are. Curiouser? Is that even a word? It is, since an author popularized its use where I came from. Then I am way more curiouser than you are. Not if I'm in curiousest. Excuse me for a moment, but I must weep for the English language. At this rate, why don't you just say you're the most curious curiouserest? I'm not sure. I'm not a linguist. Are you? I'm a cunning linguist, baby. <laughs> not exactly, but I have a way with words. My tongue is quite skilled, or so I hear. Huh. Some might even say cunning. In any case, if you have to work overtime today, does that mean I should wait for you, or do you want me to come back another time? Neither. I think my break should start right about now. Uh... What a lucky coincidence. It is, isn't it? So, where are we going? I don't know where you're going, but I think I need a coffee or five. You can tag along if you like. Like now, it is water time. It would be my pleasure. Well, I'll see if it'll be mine as well. I hope you brought your own money, though, because I'm not sharing. I didn't buy, I didn't, but everything I purchased is taken care of by my ambassador status. Nice, actually, that opens up some very interesting possibilities. It might, but I'd rather not do anything too fishy. I don't want to raise any suspicion, you know. Good point. Well, let's go then. After you, my lady. Oh, excuse me, y'all. There we are. Finally, I can't wait to get some coffee into my system. Oh, hello, Keegan. Nice to see you again. Hey, who's your companion? Can't you just take my order? I apologize. Let me try that again. Welcome to our establishment. My name's Aideen. I'll be your waitress today. What can I bring you to? I'll have a coffee. Thank you. And what can I bring the esteemed gentle person on the other side of the table? No problem. I'll be right back. What's her problem? I'm here to order something, not chit-chat with the employees. Uh, eh, I'm trying to romance her, no matter if she can be a little tiny bit bitchy. Yeah. I guess I'm not a fan of friendly, then. Let me see. What happens if you do another one? I know her, it's fine. If you say so. Uh, what happens if you do the other one? I know, she can be pretty annoying. I can see that. Here you go. Enjoy. Mm. Ah, I totally needed that. So, you work in that facility? And your point is, uh, what's your job there? I mean, what do you do exactly? We do all kinds of things. The truth is, we just have all kinds of specialized machinery there, which is used by many different people for many different purposes. The building is owned and run by the council, who oversees the schedule. It is quite handy since you can go from research to testing and even manufacturing all in the same complex. 
I started out as a researcher in biology, which is still my main job, but I've been there so long and learned the ins and outs of the building of the building so well that eventually I was asked to take over some man managerial duties. Sure, it means more work, but it also allows me to run a personal project every once in a while. Does that sate your curiosity? Actually, yes, it does, and I am going to have to pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.